All right, so I'm here with the homeowner, Michael. Uh, we just Hi. finished uh, dialing in his system. Best way to do it, yeah, we'll just unplug the boiler, we'll unplug the manifold controllers, uh, then we'll pop all the actuators on, plug those four wire actuators into the manifold controllers, and then plug everything back in. So we want to unplug these. Yeah, those are the, those are the manifold controllers, MC. So yeah, you're going to unplug those. So then, yeah, we screw on these little caps right here, and then we pop on the actuators. So you made it pretty easy since you labeled it right there. So we know 1.1 is then gonna go into zone one, yeah, slot one. It's always when you pull the camera out that it doesn't go smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Usually they just clip right on. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I didn't need to go all the way back. Into this. All Should right. I... Yeah, go ahead and go plug ahead. it in. And then we'll plug in the other two. Yeah. And then no. we'll plug in the boiler and awesome. Should be good to go. Plug all these in? Yep. Plug in the manifold controllers. Sweet, and then plug in the boiler. This one better. There we go. Everybody's plugged in. Pump is plugged in. Boiler power is plugged in. Construction is. Power mode is on. Construction dongle is removed. Make it super simple. So most people just do the simple programming mm -hmm. and that just asks you if they want to reduce by five degrees at 10 p.m. and then bring it back at 5 a.m. and so most people do that one okay and what's the standard I think that gives you okay maintain oh. one temperature during the day and another temperature at night. yeah so you yeah. can go more you can vary how many degrees you want. and then the advance is literally you could have a different every setup hour. for every day yeah oh for have a different day, window for oh it makes interesting yeah, yeah. Do you see the little fire emblem at the bottom? Yeah, and then I saw it in the lower left corner. Boom, there it goes, okay. Good to go. All right, so we have a thermostat in a bathroom, mode select, heating on, warming on, done. 65 degrees is what we have in the room. Um, set to 67 and then the fire indicator is on so it is heating all right so i'm here with the homeowner michael uh we just Hi. finished uh dialing in his system um, so we've got the warm source hanging on the wall we've got two manifolds oriented sideways which you can absolutely orient your manifolds any way you want um, and then he's got that running upstairs to a two-story cabin um, both floors done in warm board. Um, how's your experience been with the, the install? It's been great. It's been great. Um, I did a lot. I was very involved in the process myself along with collaborating with a plumber. Um, and neither of us had ever installed one before. And, and uh, you know, it, the support, the warm board was great, very responsive um, and worked through any kind of questions or issues we had. Because issues are inevitable in any system you install, especially in a in a house that hasn't been built, you know, that's already standing. So yeah, so this was a remodel situation and a fairly lengthy remodel. So this is, I think you had it in construction mode for almost a full year. Yeah, so we had, we had it quite a bit. Most of the construction was done, but we we needed a vacation. You know, when you DIY, you need a little break sometimes too. So uh, 
So we came back, we've got the final thermostats installed um, this past weekend and then we're ready to fire it up. But the, yeah, construction mode was great. You know, there was an on and off. Yeah, so construction but, mode is just this little dongle right here. I'll show you guys. This little dongle and you plug it in here and it jumps you uh, across a circuit that allows our algorithm just to kind of let it just run open. So construction mode is great for when you don't have the thermostats hooked up. You just had your last thermostat hooked up over during the week. And so then today we turned the system on for the first time. Uh, what was your experience with getting the system kicked on? Pretty easy. I mean, I think we did, you know, due diligence and working with the, you know, customer service reps and engineers. We made sure we set it up right. And then, so this last part really was just a matter of just the mechanics of double checking a couple flow and popping on the actuators. Um, so that's one of the benefits of being organized because you'll notice this is very well organized, labeled up here on the, on the actual plywood itself. We also include stickers that you can stick onto the pipes. Um, and then these manifold controllers that are proprietary to warm board, um, they are all labeled and color coded as well. Um, so as long as you're organized, like Michael is, uh, when you turn the system on, it is plug and play. You plug it in, and it starts talking to itself and kicks on, and it works. And that was a nice thing. Like everything, as far as the way the, the equipment you get, um, it was easy to stay organized because it was organized from the outside and well labeled. So each of the thermostats had a nice clear sticker that said which zone it was designated for. So. It, would be really negligent if you to mess it up <laughs> yeah. in some regards. So yeah, don't start yeah. swapping stickers on yeah. us. <laughs> it's not gonna help anybody. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful install, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing what you guys think of living in here over the winter time. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to it with the thermostats and the zone heating. It was, I mean, it. Our experience with just on and off was phenomenal as far as the quality of the heat, um, but now I'm. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the zone heating and being able to uh, adjust the different different uh, rooms accordingly. Yeah, so what Michael's referring to there is uh, when you're in construction mode, you basically hijack the system, you kind of jump the system, so uh, or jump the, the algorithm. So you're kind of just running the system fully open. Um, so what we do is we tell people, get this little Christmas light uh, on off. What is this thing called? Um, it's just a, just a timer. mechanical timer. Um, yeah. You plug that in, plug your boiler into that, and then this will turn on and off. And the boiler, every time it gets loses power, it shuts down. And then when it gains power, the uh, algorithm in here knows, okay, got to kick on and start sending hot water to all the loops. So it's very rudimentary, um, but this is a good method when you're in construction mode. So now Michael's actually going to get to enjoy having all of his zones keep uh, being kept at within a one degree temperature span is what we claim. So uh, I'll exactly. be interested, interested to hear uh, how different that is from from how it was. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Okay. Well, thank you, Russ. Have a great day.